Today in Madden 23, I will be swapping the careers of Jamar Chase and Justin Jefferson and simulating the next three years to see who does better. So we have Justin Jefferson in a Cincinnati Bengals uniform and we have Jamar Chase in a Minnesota Vikings uniform. Before we go ahead and simulate to the middle of the season and see how these guys are both doing, we have to see at least a player or two with both of them on their new teams. We have Joe Burrow with Justin Jefferson this time, former LSU teammates, instead of Jamar Chase with Joe Burrow. Let's see if Jefferson can get a catch right here. We have him at the bottom of the screen. He's X-factored, Burrow's X-factored. Very excited to see what these two guys are going to do throughout the entire season. But instead, we're going to throw it to Hayden Hurst. All right, Joe, third and 13. You got to go to your main man here. It's got to be Justin Jefferson. Third and 13. We got to be looking for him, Joe. We're looking for the other Joe that was almost picked. Because Burrow doesn't want to throw it to him for some reason, I got to take matters into my own hands. Before we go over to Jamar Chase on the Vikings, I got to get Jefferson one catch here. What a throw right there. Joe Burrow and take it to the house, Justin. Oh, we got to get him a gritty. We have to get one gritty for each of these guys on the new teams. Then we'll quit out of this game. We have to get the gritties with the new teams. Oh, look at Jefferson. Just absolutely cooking. They had no chance against Justin Jefferson in the Cincinnati Bengals uniform with Joe Burrow. I'm super excited to watch these guys. We're going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to watch a play or two. And if he doesn't score a touchdown, we're going to go ahead. We're going to jump in and get him a gritty and back out of here. Dalvin Cook's going to get the ball first, not using Jamar. Last chance, Kirk. Throw it to Jamar or I'm taking over. All right, we're taking over, but they do pick up a first at least. Let's see if we can get that same success that we have with Justin Jefferson with Jamar Chase. That is not a good start. That was pretty insane, honestly. That was pretty insane. This time, though, what a catch. Jamar Chase coming out of the backfield. But a strip sack, my first play with Kirk Cousins and Jamar Chase. But it's fine as long as we get the touchdown. Oh, I thought he was going to catch that. All right, Kirk. Get it in the end zone here. Come on, Kirk. Look for the end zone. Look for Jamar. Jamar Chase on his new team with the Vikings. We got our gritties. Now let's see who's better throughout the season. The Minnesota Vikings with Jamar Chase are 3-3 three and three in the North in second place. The Bengals surprisingly have a negative record halfway throughout the season. They are 3-4. and four. Very surprised by this. Jamar Chase only has 396 yards receiving. Six games in, so he's averaging about 70 yards or so. A little under 70 yards per game. Justin Jefferson not doing much better, honestly. 471 yards through six games, so about 80 yards per game. I guess he missed the game because he only played six. The Bengals played seven due to injury but i'm not sure exactly what's happening there and also t higgins is outperforming justin jefferson on his own team the vikings go nine and eight in year number one so we're definitely going to be seeing some playoff football the same cannot be said though surprisingly for the Bengals, who i thought were definitely going to be better than the minnesota vikings they only go five and twelve with jefferson and joe burrow i don't know how that's possible in year number one jamar chase does cross that 1,000 yard receiving more with 85 receptions 1,025 yards six touchdowns with 17 games played as for justin jefferson he actually outperformed jamar Chase with 89 receptions, almost 1,200 receiving yards, and eight touchdowns. But Jamar Chase going to the playoffs. The Vikings get the Carolina Panthers in the wild card round. A 10 and 7 Panthers team versus a 9 and 8 Minnesota Vikings team. And he's going straight to Jamar Chase, his new addition this year for nine yards to start the playoff game. We'll watch a play or two more, and then we're going to super sim to the end of this game. We'll watch more plays if they go for a deep playoff run. We're not going to stay too much in the wild card round, but we have Jamar Chase again, two for two, 32 yards receiving already through two plays. This game must be at 1 p.m. because Kirk Cousins is going off right now. It is not prime time, Kirk. Look at KJ Osborne, and we have Jamar Chase, four for four, 60 yards for Kirk Cousins to get this game started. Going back to pass as he going Jamar's way. It looks like he might be. He's actually looking for Dalvin Cook. I'm not sure what the flag is. Maybe roughing the passer? It's actually going to be a holding on the offense. Do they decline and opt for the field goal, or do they take third and 17? Panthers are going to accept the penalty, go fourth and one. So the offense is going to stay on the field. I definitely would have thought they'd go for third and 17. Pretty surprised there. They're going to pitch this one out to Dalvin, and it works out because the Panthers' defense makes a stand. As we get to the end of this game, we have a tie game, 24-24, fourth quarter, a minute 23 left. This field goal... Would take the lead for the Panthers, and it is good. Can Kirk Cousins and Jamar Chase tie it or take the lead for the win? This could be the game right here. Third and nine, their own 26. 42 seconds left. They have one timeout. Kirk Cousins, he's looking for Jamar. Jamar Chase, what a play into Panthers territory. That is an absurd catch by Jamar Chase. 15 seconds left. One timeout still. Where's Kirk going this time? Dalvin Cook makes the catch. Where is the timeout? Where is the timeout? Did they call timeout? They did. They're going for the field goal here. It's got to be, what, like a 60-yard field goal? Can they tie it? 
The kick is no good, and the Panthers eliminate the Vikings in year one. To start off year number two, Jamar Chase has gone up to a 93 overall, and Justin Jefferson has become a 98 overall. I do expect him to hit 99 this season. Halfway through year two, Vikings aren't starting off that hot. They are three and four. Happy to see the Bengals turn things around, though, this year. They are five and two. A much better season out of Jamar Chase, though. Seven games in, he has 658 yards receiving, so a way better pace than last year. 46 receptions and already six touchdowns seven games in. Chase is also outperforming Justin Jefferson right now through seven games, 42 receptions, 580 yards, only three touchdowns for Justin Jefferson. This season doesn't go well for the Vikings. They finish seven and 10 and miss the playoffs. So I guess we're switching over to the Bengals playoff chances here because they go 11 and six and win the AFC North. Mar Chase though had a great season, so definitely not his fault that they missed the playoffs. 1,400 yards, 104 receptions, 12 touchdowns in 17 games. That is a great season. He did outperform Justin Jefferson this season as well. So 94 receptions, 1,300 yards for Justin Jefferson. Only five touchdowns in 17 games. We have a great matchup in the wild card round. The Bills wind up getting a wild card spot. They're going to Cincinnati in round one. We have to go ahead and watch Justin Jefferson and Joe Burrow's first couple plays in the playoffs. Burrow one on one to the outside. Oh, I thought he was looking for Justin Jefferson, but it's actually T. Higgins underneath. Yeah, Jamar make the playoffs in year one, Justin year two. Can they both make it in year number three with a chance to meet in the Super Bowl? That's what I want to see. This time, Justin Jefferson with the catch to the 50. You got a second and seven at the Bills 47. Justin Jefferson, bottom of your screen. They're going to motion over T. Higgins. Can we see a gritty in the playoffs? Joe Burrow is going to pass. Is he looking for Jefferson? He's dropping back. He is going to hit Justin Jefferson across the middle. Oh, I thought he was going to break free for the touchdown. Jefferson back at the bottom of your screen. Joe Burrow still X-factored. Will they look for Jefferson in the red zone? He's actually going to go to, I think, Tyler Boyd. Down to the one. I thought he was in. Angles offense is looking nice. Justin Jefferson is out of the game, but they're looking to take their lead here. They give to Mixon and a walk-in touchdown for the lead. Biggest play of the game. We got a third and inches in Bill's territory. They give it to Joe Mixon. They pick up the first down. And I think that's pretty much going to do it for a Bengals win. And that is all they need for victory formation here in Cincinnati. We are headed to the divisional. However, this is the end of the road for the Bengals here in the divisional round. It wasn't even close enough for us to jump in. The Colts come into Cincinnati and they beat the Bengals. 34-13. to 13. I don't even know who their quarterback is. Somehow, Daniel Jones ended up on the Indianapolis Colts in this simulation in year two. This is breaking news in the simulation. Justin Jefferson has left the Cincinnati Bengals to join the Seattle Seahawks. I can't believe that. Justin Jefferson, though, is a 99 overall like I thought he would be this year. We do still have Jamar Chase on the Minnesota Vikings, though, and he gets his X Factor as a 95 overall. Now we have to go ahead once again and get another gritty. I did not expect three gritties today i did not expect the score from three different teams but that's exactly what we're gonna do oh justin jefferson that corner route is ridiculous i love that we can put him on any route we want and we have a seattle seahawks gritty in this video there is a matchup between the seattle seahawks and the minnesota vikings week 13 here we come we are to go ahead and check out at least one drive from each of these guys and then we're going to simulate the entire game and we'll jump in if there's close moments dalvin cook getting the ball with a flag on the field, but that was a big pickup. But of course, it's a holding on the offense, so that's coming back. Comment down below, who's taking this game? Jamar Chase and the Vikings or Justin Jefferson and the Seattle Seahawks? And that's a first down for Cook. He's still not targeted yet. Third and two for Jimmy G and the Vikings. Bottom of the screen is Jamar Chase. Where are we looking? Giving it to Dalvin Cook. I mean, the running room is right there for Cook the whole game so far. I set it down as we got a first and 10. Slow drive right now. Play action, though. We go to Jamar. He overthrows him. He was open too. Jimmy G, we go into Jamar this time. He's looking for him. Jamar Chase making a mark on this game. Pick up about 16. One of these guys has to score the touchdown. Who is it going to be? Is it Jamar or is it Justin? Play action? No, the give is to Dalvin Cook. Good block by Jamar Chase here down at the bottom. Two, what are we doing here? Are they going to settle for three? Are they going to run it? They are going to pass. Are we going for Jamar? Jimmy G, I think he is going Jamar's way and Jamar Chase takes it down to the nine for a fresh set of downs. I don't even know if Jamar's on the field. He might hit the bottom of the screen, but I don't see him right now. But they're five wide, empty backfield, looking for, I'm not even sure that is number 13 on the Vikings. I'm not going to lie. Barrow, Barrow, I don't know how to say his name. Is that a real player? I don't even know, but he scores a touchdown for the Vikings. Vikings start with a touchdown drive. Now it's time for Jacoby Brissett, Justin Jefferson to answer. Give us to Kenneth Walker. He's superstar now. We got Justin. Maybe one-on-one -on -one top of the screen. 
No, I think he's going for... Who is that? Noah Font. Jamar Chase had a pretty good opening drive. Justin Jefferson has to answer here. Can he get a reception? Can he get a touchdown? Oh, he's open. Oh, he's open, but he gets overthrown by Brissett. We had a wide open Justin Jefferson on a zig route. And Jacoby Brissett overthrows him. This time, okay, you gotta be kidding me. Justin Jefferson, you left your LSU teammate, Joe Burrow, for this. For Jacoby Brissett to overthrow you twice. Make it three times. Just do it. Make it three. No, there's Metcalf. This Seattle drive is not nearly as exciting as the Vikings drive. They are going to try to get some points here, though. Can they get a field goal from here? But a 55, that wasn't even close. We're going to go ahead and we're going to see the end of this game. Who is going to win this? If it gets close at the end, we will jump in. We got a 10-3 ball game. No offense almost. They tie it up those Seattle Vikings answer. Okay, second half is way more offensive. They're third and goal from the one. Can we jump in for this play? We can. We have Justin Jefferson, top of the screen. For a tie game, where is Jacoby Brissett going? He's looking for Noah Font, and it's a tie game. And right after that, we have a red zone possession for Jamar Chase and the Vikings in a tie 17-17 game. Where are we going, Jimmy G? We are looking for Barrow. Barrow, and he fumbles! Oh, he fumbles the auto-generated player, and Jamal Adams still on the Seahawks recovers the fumble. That is pretty crazy that he fumbled. Now we are driving. Pretty crazy fumble by the auto-generated player. The Seattle Seahawks just in a field goal to take the lead, but they are third and 20. They pick up seven yards with a kick three. They're going to punt. Now it's time for the money drive for Jimmy G. 24 seconds on the clock. First and 10. One timeout. We are jumping in if the game lets me. Okay, we're glitched. Of course we are. Somehow we're in, though, with five seconds for the win here. Vikings for the win or overtime. The kick is up. Doesn't have enough. It is short. We are going to overtime with these two guys. We have overtime. Seattle's driving. They get the ball first. A touchdown would end it for them. Second and 10. Third and five. We're going to jump in for this play. Big important play right here. Third and five or else they're going to punt into Minnesota. Just need a field goal to win. We got Jacoby Brissett overthrowing Justin Jefferson a ton of times. Can he connect with him here? He's looking to go deep. Where was that going? Second and six at their own 44. About 20 yards or so, 15 yards or so, they got a field goal chance. Jamar has been great on this drive. Two big catches, make it three! Jamar Chase is making an impact in this game to the 26. I would imagine here the Vikings are going to run it. They're in field goal range. It's probably like a 40-yard field goal. Okay, never mind. That's why Madden doesn't make sense, but Jamar Chase is open! Can he end it with a touchdown and a gritty down to the six? In real life, they would obviously just kick the three here, but this is Madden, and Madden doesn't make sense in their simulations. So they are going for it. They're going to run it to Dalvin Cook. A touchdown ends it, and Dalvin Cook is in, and this game is over. Jamar Chase in this game had 10 receptions, 156 yards, no touchdowns. Justin Jefferson only had four catches for 35 yards and no touchdowns. That was a fun game, but the Vikings go 8-9. and nine. They miss the playoffs. And the Seattle Seahawks are even worse. They go 6-11 and 11 and miss the playoffs. Justin Jefferson did wind up having a great season, though. 92 catches, 1,300 yards, 10 touchdowns through 17 games. On paper, he did outperform Chase, too. 90 receptions, about 1,250 receiving yards, 6 touchdowns for Chase. But Chase did have the better head-to-head -head game. That's going to do it for the video, everyone. If you enjoyed, do me a favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. In the comments down below, let me know what video, what challenge do you want to see next. Peace.